I'm Reginald Klein Cole and I'm a senior lecturer in African Geography I'm based um, at the Department for African Studies and Anthropology and um, I have a long-standing interest in, in rural energy issues um, and I specialize on rural energy in West Africa and as I said this interest goes back a long way and, and um, I started work, working on rural energy in Sierra Leone but I've also done work in Nigeria and various other parts of West Africa. Now most of my current research is based on northern Nigeria and I've got um, a big project, a joint project with colleagues at um, University of Bath in the UK and um, Bayero University in Kano and the joint project um, focuses on rural energy in and around Kano in northern Nigeria. Uh, Kano is the, the most um, densely populated part of inland Nigeria, possibly all of inland West Africa and certainly the largest um, city in northern Nigeria and therefore the single most important market and consumption centre for energy um, in Nigeria. So it does have a lot to tell us about um, questions of energy in the rest of inland West Africa. And what we are going to do um, as part of this project is to try and first of all understand patterns and rates um, of um, fuel, wood and charcoal consumption and to then try and make some sense of the impacts of such consumption on the environment as well as on the implications for um, energy policy um, and practice more generally um, in Nigeria. And it's, it's actually quite sort of fascinating work because this is an area that does have a lot of people, very high population density, but in fact very little in the way of natural forests and very little in the way of natural woodland. So in fact most of the, the wood fuel that people consume locally comes from surrounding farmland. Um, but also from forests much, much further south. So in fact a local problem is in fact exported much further afield. So although it is about Kano, it is by extension about the rest of northern and um, middle Nigeria as well. And um, that does give it, I think, um, an enormous amount of potential impact um, in terms of all sorts of things, certainly in terms of, of social and economic considerations, in terms of, of environmental considerations. And I think one of the most recent, and probably one of the most exciting things um, that we've, we've come up with is the sort of potential links to questions of, of climate change. Right, so um, these are all the kinds of issues that I, I sort of try to, to fit into my, my teaching as well, you know, first-hand information on um, how local people perceive the environment and how that influences the way that they act on the environment, but how these can be translated into probably more concrete, more material things like access to land for farming, like access to land for, for urban construction, like access to land for um, infrastructure development, and how all of these sorts of things, normal, everyday things, can impact on something as basic and as fundamental as domestic energy use.